Hey everybody, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we are making chicken and artichoke pizza. You're not going to want to miss this one. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I am your charming host, Chef John Polite. And if this is your first time watching, or you just want to learn how to make awesome, awesome food, or maybe even start your own cooking channel, then go ahead and do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button right there, and then click on that notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, well, you clicked on this video to watch me make a chicken and artichoke pizza. So let's Head into the kitchen and see what our ingredients are before we start this cook. All right, here's our list of ingredients here. I've got artichoke hearts, green onions, red pepper, mayonnaise, ricotta cheese, uh, let me get this. mozzarella cheese, of course, Parmesan cheese. I got some of this carved chicken breast that we're going to dice up. I buy this on sale when it's on sale and load up the freezer with it. It's a very nice, convenient product to have. And then, of course, our a bubbly original crust pizza that we're going to make this on. So there's our ingredients. Let's get into the kitchen. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to make our, our bottom part of this, our sauce, I guess. A uh, quarter cup of mayonnaise, quarter cup of cheese. I'm going to use one can of artichoke hearts, and I'm going to use about a quarter cup of this ricotta cheese, too, and I'm just going to blend it up in a bowl here. I have only got two hands, so I'm going to go ahead and Get this all into the bowl, and then I'll come back, I'll cut into me mixing it. All right, well here's the, uh, the sauce. This is the ricotta cheese, the mayonnaise, the Parmesan, and the artichokes. I have just blended it all together with a spoon. And it's all well, mixed well together. It's all mixed really well uh, to blend the flavors. And I'm just gonna set this off to the side and this is what we're going to put, and we're going to spread it onto the pizza after we get all of our toppings prepared. So we're going to do that next. All right, we got a pepper right down the middle. Take out the guts. And we're just going to dice this up. All right, got our red peppers diced up, got our chicken right there. I didn't even cut it up. It's pretty well diced in the package. It is still a little bit frozen too, so I didn't want to get involved with that. Uh, this is going to be all right. Now we're going to take our sauce. We're going to get our pie going here. I'm going to pull that out of the wrapper. We're going to move it into a different scene right here, and we're going to start spreading that sauce onto the pie. All right, well, this is a bobbly. And I am in no means making any money from the company. Uh, this was kind of big in the 80s. I remember the commercials had the guy with his mama. And he would make a pizza for mom. And he used a ba 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 No, this is a bobbly pizza crust. I have never used one before. It's pretty cool. Uh, just like a docked one you'd get for a uh, in the restaurant industry. If you're not making your own, you get the stuff that's already made for you. Similar to that, it looks like it has cheese kind of baked into it too. I didn't even look at the directions to see which side is going to go up or down. I'm assuming the cheese side is coming up with the topping. So we're just going to take our sauce that we made with the cheeses, the artichokes, and the mayonnaise. Let me just use two hands here to spread this. All right, I've got the sauce all spread onto the pie. Now we're going to add our toppings. Chicken in there. I cut the green onions. I will cut the green onions when I uh, get this into the oven. That's just going to be used as a topping for when it comes out. Again, Excuse my camera shakiness here. So 
like the Blair Witch Food Project. All right, two hands here. Let's get a good line. I'm going to set this down again so I can get two hands involved with this. All right, there's our pie. It's got the chicken in there. It's got those peppers on top. Like I said, I'm going to cut those onions up while the pizza's in the oven. And then we'll hit them right when it comes out because otherwise the green onions will just get burnt. That looks pretty good. Turn your oven on to 450 or 500 as per package directions for whatever shell you're using. All right, well, I forgot to add the mozzarella, so I'm going to do that real quick. I'll put the phone down and we'll get a good shot of this before it goes into the oven. There it is. This is going to be an awesome pie, I can tell already, just by looking at it. Look at the colors already on there. Beautiful. It smells fantastic. So, into the oven. All right. The pie has come out of the oven. There it is. I got it. The green onions. The cheese is melted. Pretty good. Crisp. Golden. Brown. On the outside. I'm going to cut this up and present it on our plate. Take some gorgeous pictures of it for social media. Find a musical score that I can put underneath this. And then we're going to come back and taste it. Okay, well here we go with our bite. I'm going to pick this one right here. I'm going to need two hands for this because there's a lot of toppings on her. So let me switch over to the tripod and we'll get a good look at this. There is uh, the pizza. It's the crust and the toppings. You got those peppers and chicken in there and artichokes. Whoops. Stay back. No, 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 no. I don't want the dog to get it because it's onions in there. All right, first bite. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is really, really good. I was really skeptical when I saw the mayonnaise in there, but uh, you can't tell it's mayonnaise. All I taste is that chicken, the juicy artichokes in there, uh, the peppers, of course, and all that cheese and gooeyness with that crust. It's got that nice bite to it. Uh, sorry, my dog's right there. Chicken and artichoke pizza. Thanks a lot for watching, it was awesome. All right, well I've got this recipe right down there in the description box, and there's also some other things I'd like you to check while you're down there. One, I've left two links down there for my e-commerce store where I sell my seasoning, spices, and herb blends. Two, if you're a YouTuber and you are a creator, then you need to check that TubeBuddy link. Go ahead and hit that, that will give you the views and the subscribers that you need to make your show a success. And then three, all my affiliate links for all my equipment that I use are down there as well. They are affiliate links, so I do get a little bit of a cut every time somebody buys something that I recommend. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so yet. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave us a comment down below. And then make sure you share this video and this channel with everybody you know. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food. Take care. Bye-bye.